Today we're looking at the Quasi War. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com for resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. The Quasi War was a somewhat confusing conflict that took place between the United States and France from 1798 to 1800. The conflict had several different names, the Undeclared War with France, the Pirate Wars, or the Half War. Most of the fighting took place at sea in the Atlantic Ocean and in the Caribbean. Although the Americans and French had been allies during the American Revolution, the relationship had been strained in the years since the end of the American Revolution. In February of 1778, the United States and France signed the Treaty of Amity and Commerce, which recognized the United States as an independent nation, it encouraged trade between France and America, and created a military alliance against Great Britain. Furthermore, the United States agreed to provide protection to French colonies in the Caribbean. The relationship between the two really began to be strained in the early 1790s as the French began to enter into a series of wars with other European powers in the wake of the French Revolution. The British and Dutch were threats to many of France's Caribbean colonies. President George Washington at the time was adamant that the United States would remain neutral in these conflicts. The French even sent ambassadors to America to ask for aid, and Washington refused, and instead, America signed the Jay Treaty in 1794 with Britain, which settled some remaining issues from the American Revolution and established friendly diplomacy and trade between America and Britain. This treaty angered France, and they retaliated by capturing several American trade ships trading with the British. In response, Congress voted to start building up naval forces and building several new warships, such as the USS Congress, USS President, and USS General Green, which USS is simply short for United States Ship. In 1797, John Adams became the second president of the United States and immediately had to deal with these foreign relation problems. Adams sent diplomats to France in July of 1797 to attempt to settle disputes between the two nations. Before the diplomats could even meet with French officials, they were approached by representatives of the French foreign minister that demanded the Americans pay them a bribe, as well as give them a loan, and formally apologize to them for what was happening. Of course, the American diplomats were insulted and outraged and returned to the United States without even meeting with French officials. President Adams then went to Congress to ask that they take measures to defend the United States from France. Congress was a little unsure about what was going on, and they asked Adams to give them the official reports of what had happened in France with the diplomats. Adams did share the reports, but crossed out the French representatives' names and replaced them with X, Y, and Z, so the entire incident became known as the X, Y, Z affair. Anger over the entire incident and fear of a possible French invasion of America led to the United States building up more military forces. Also, John Adams called 66-year-old George Washington out of retirement and gave him power as commander-in-chief once again. Washington was honestly too old at this point to effectively organize or raise an army, so much of that responsibility fell to Washington's close aide, Alexander Hamilton. Although the United States was building up military strength, as I had mentioned, they never actually declared war on France. And actually, there were really only two major engagements between the French and Americans, and both of those took place at sea. As 1800 approached, Napoleon Bonaparte had become the new leader of France, and to President John Adams' surprise, Napoleon was willing to settle issues between the United States and France. On November 9, 1800, they signed the Treaty of Morte Fontana, which officially ended the Quasi-War and ended the 1778 Treaty of Alliances. But a side note here. There was an ulterior motive Napoleon had for signing the treaty. The very next day, on November 10, 1800, Napoleon signed the secret treaty of San Ildefonso, which gave the French control of the Louisiana Territory. 
Napoleon had ambitions of conquering the North American continent, and continuing hostilities in the Quasi-War would have in interfered with those plans. But the circumstances of the French then selling the Louisiana Territory to the United States a few years later in the Louisiana Purchase is a story for another video. So with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching.